আমাদের ভাষা পাহাড়িয়া ভাষা আমাদের ছোট ছোট ছেলে মেয়ে তারা তাদেরকেও আমরা পাড়িয়া ভাষাতে ভাষা দিয়ে যে আমাদের গোসাইনি বা ঈশ্বর যে ভাষা দিচ্ছে এই ভাষা যেন ঈশ্বর যে যে ভাষা দিচ্ছে সেই ভাষা যেন আমরা নিজেরা ধরে রাখতে পারি What if you spent your whole life searching for truth, but it was just out of reach? What if you knew that the answer was out there, but you couldn't access it or experience it. For communities like the Paharia in Bangladesh, the quest to find hope has been difficult. That is the reality for thousands of language groups, for 1.3 billion people right now. That's the reality, they know it's there, and yet they don't have access. The Pahari community people, their origin is from India. During the reign of uh, the British government, the Pahari community people, they came in the Bangladesh and now are living yet now, still here. The Pahari people, they have own language, own culture. They are different from other tribals. About uh, 20,000 Pahari community people are in Bangladesh. They are facing struggles, only 20 or 30 percent Christians and others not yet believers. They do the worship of idols. So they are non-Christians, they are totally isolated from society and they have no opportunities to get support from other people. The people are uh, illiterate uh, and their children drop out from primary school. Malto, in our, especially in Bangladesh, we have no any scripts or written scripts or written books. Just we usually use the oral. Bible <laughs> Pavu. Pavitro, Pavitro, Shastra, Jira, Puratan, Nothing, Nemate, 
সেটা তো আমরা পেয়ে গেছি We were, I think, in our late 30s. We had been praying because we felt like God was asking us to do something else, something different. I was in church one morning. The speaker uh, actually said something that I'd probably heard a thousand times before. What are you doing right now that's more important than helping to get God's Word to somebody who doesn't have it? I just felt it pierced me, and I just felt like God was speaking to me. I remember you said, I think I'm being called to be a Bible translator. And I was like, uh, get in the car, let's go home. <laughs> let's go home and talk about that. But I remember that you told me, nothing I'm doing is more important than getting God's Word. Long story short, quit my job. Just a couple short years later, we were uh, in West Africa working in a translation project. We had almost lost our daughter to a really horrific case of malaria. Our son had had an incident with asthma. We couldn't get any breathing treatments. And, and I, as a mother, was concerned greatly about our health. One Sunday, we were in church. The pastor was preaching in Fong, which was the local language. And the people had brought these Spanish Bibles with them. The trade language was Spanish. But we learned very quickly that Spanish is not even really spoken in the villages. And all these people have their Spanish Bibles, but they're closed. We knew that they couldn't read. There's no school system in the villages. They're completely non-readers. But here they were with these Bibles that were totally useless. But it occurred to me, he could be saying anything. And I remember looking over at Steve, our, our kids are draped across our laps because we're like an hour or two of 100 degrees, 100% humidity. And I just remember thinking, he's going to sacrifice this family and they're never going to read the words he sacrificed us for. That's when I went, this is never going to happen. They're never going to even understand. And at that time, we were not aware of people that were doing recordings or putting God's Word in audio. There we were in Africa, the first time we ever saw Faith Comes by Hearing. And we didn't have any idea that within two short years we'd be living in Albuquerque, the home corporate office as if faith comes by hearing, and for you to be working in oral Bible translation. It's pretty simple. Faith comes by hearing is God's word in audio. When I actually heard uh, about OBT, I met the FCBH leadership team, especially uh, Steve Westek. He was very much excited uh, to do something in Bangladesh. We started uh, our conversation and we started our planning. And then we end up uh, with like now working uh, for the Bahariya team. Looking back, we see that God orchestrated everything for us to be there. When we actually met some of the church leaders uh, from Paharia, they were very much like you know eager to have a scripture in their own language. So they tried their uh, their level best, and they wanted to find uh, resources. Amra hoto age theke shunchi je amader Bible, amader Paharia bhasha dite hoyi hobe, Paharia bhasha. The Pahadia project in Bangladesh is a great example of one person's determination and desire to have uh, God's Word in his language or the, the language of the community. I accomplished my BTS Bachelor of Theology in 2000. Then I tried to uh, write the uh, Malta Bible in all language 
I have tried from myself individually. Uh, day and night I tried, but it was very difficult for me because you know that in Bangladesh I was only one pastor and I prayed to God. Four years I have tried to translate the Gospel of Luke, but it was not accurate. Then at once I heard that the Malta people from India, they already translated. When he traveled to India, they had a related language in India that had a translation. He traveled to India to bring that back. I no have any connection with any other, but I searched there. The script was Hindi language, another language. And it just wasn't uh, speaking to the community. It wasn't uh, understandable enough for them. Then I was again pray to God that, God, please, how can we prepare in our language in Bangladesh? God responds, finally. God has actually given us the opportunity uh, to know about OBT, Bible Translation Process, from FCBH. So, uh, from them, actually, we came to know that it is possible to do the Bible translation for uh, the Pariya team. And we shared these things with the Pariya people. And they were also very excited to start. And then, by the grace of God, we started. A lot of the last remaining languages that need scripture are oral communities. That's their preferred method of learning, of communicating. For that reason, the oral Bible translation and then audio recordings. Even if they can read, that would still be their preferred method. How do we make scripture available to every individual around the world in a language that a person can understand and in a form that they can understand? For oral cultures, that would be in an oral form. First through audio scriptures, and now the new focus of, of oral translation. Our partnership with Faith Comes By Hearing is absolutely critical. That scripture in Revelation 7-9 is people from every nation standing before the throne. But here's the deal, is it says every nation is there. I'm very excited to see that. Right. One of the many beautiful things that God is doing. He is really, truly bringing ministries together. When we all came together and a strategy was birthed to find and name every single language group that still did not have scriptures in their own language, that changed everything because now we've got a strategy and now there is a goal. And I truly think it is a divine moment, you know, in our history or the history of the church. It's like everybody's realizing if we don't work together, we're never going to end Bible poverty. We're never going to finish or accomplish the Great Commission. I truly believe that Faith Comes By Hearing has led the way by example of showing what that looks like. Without vision, the people perish, right? And so there is this Vision 2033 goal to record and freely provide God's Word to every language group that needs it. The whole Christian community needs to embrace it and is embracing it. This is something we've got to get done in our lifetime. And that's something that I am extremely excited about as we look forward together of how can we partner in new ways, but particularly around remaining uh, languages and through oral translation. And the way we see OBT really uh, fitting into Vision 2033 is as we get to the harder to reach languages, they may not even have an orthography or writing system in their language. So with OBT, you can start immediately. I remember the first time that I was introduced to oral Bible translation. I wept because I was like, oh my gosh, this just makes so much sense. 
Oral Bible translation is basically the process. We use a software called Render. It walks the mother tongue translators through each step of typical written Bible translation, but it's all done orally, where they listen to passages, and then they will translate them into their mother tongue language. It has been embraced by the local community, by nationals, and they are owning the project. And it's just kind of gone. I want to say that 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 I to say that I want to say to to where they actually have a translation going on now. Amra je translate korchi ashole amra bible somporke asho onek kichu jantam na ei translation e ashar pore amra prottekei amader prottekta team eri member ebong onek bishoy chilo jeta amader kache ojana jetar mane ashole bujha jay na. Ami ei project ta ashar age kono kichu temon ekta jantam na bible er nigutottyo bishoye ebong ei project er madhye jara Involved, আছে তারা ব্যক্তিগতভাবেও আত্মিক বৃদ্ধি পাচ্ছে তারা অনেক ঈশ্বরের রাজ্যের অনেক বিষয় তারা এখন হৃদয়ে ধারণ করতে পেরেছে আদানই জাকারিয়া ওরে গোগিমেনতি লড়চা আনতে গোসাইন পোলেত্র লাগিয়া ইদের Father, we just thank you for the day that you've given us, Father. Just pray on this project, Father, that it gets to the place that it needs to safely to bring the word to the people that need it, Father. I just ask this in Jesus' name. The Proclaimer is a self-contained audio device that can be used in villages with no electricity because it has a solar panel. It's basically an indestructive device that you can take anywhere and play God's Word. It's only for God's Word. time in Bangladesh, they uh, received the audio in our language, Malta language, the Gospel of Luke. Thank you very much. সবাই আনন্দিত আর কি যখন আমাদের বাইবেল আমাদের ভাষা দিয়ে পড়া হয় তাহলে সবাই খুশি হয় আর সবাই মানে বলছে যে তাহলে আমাদের এটা ভাষা থাকবে আর আমাদের প্রভু যিশু খ্রিস্টকে আমাদের ভাষা দিয়ে আমরা যাদের যারা পালক আমরা যারা পালক আমরা নিজেরা নিজেরাই তাদেরকে হয়তো শিক্ষা দেই বা আমাদের ভাষা দিয়ে তাদেরকে শিক্ষা দেবার ইঙ্গে তো উপলব্ধি করতে পারছি
I am really pleased to God. That, yeah, God is good always. He is faithful. When we ask, when we pray to God, He listen. And He answer our prayer. ইসু এক পাহারা এম তার সাঙ্গাল লুকিয়া আকারা আহু গাড়ে কামক্রেন উদিয়া আহু আহে কি সেওয়ে কামেন বিন্ডে কি পাহারেন্তে দিক মালেরি ই আককে নেকেন টুন্ডিয়ার আন্তে আত্রের আদে মালেরনি ইসু কি সাবা সিকাতার� ইসু ইন্দ্রা পাডেন উদিযা আ ইকের মেরজা আত্রের মাজিতে দিকেরে হি আতার ইন্দ্রা সিকাতারিযা আ নাম্তার লাক্তে কি উর্গিযা এনু ইদের এসা � किसी का जब कुतनो होने कुते ही शोराशेर बाते हलो बावी ही चला ना मार की ना की जो तो बूते मशहूर है गोरिया पूरी कुटी बूते मशहूर ना ही कुते कतार में हाँ जी बोलने पड़े सोते ने बाल लेने जिस उन खाने निम्ते बीच है ना ना जिस उस पढ़ाई के ने बेर दुनिया ना The OBT process is really exciting because of the quickness that the communities can get God's Word. They have passages of Scripture that go all the way through the process through uh, consultant approval and they're used immediately. They share them on phones, messenger. I mean, they're in the community immediately. Most projects within a year will complete a Gospel of Luke and it'll be completely released to the community. It's something that they can do completely on their own. They don't need us. They're doing the work. They make it their own. We help them get started and train, and then they can just run with it. Our group, hello, lakcha. Our dear language, je toori kuchche. Amra bushte paachi, shonte paachi. Jato maake kormi kaj kore khale ho. Our dear group, ishore pura ekra asha je ishore. Our dear ke amra kaj kore khale ho. Ishore our dear ke bhalo baashi. E jonne amra khub ishore upo. Chida shongron hoche. Ebang e baasha madhme je our dear je Bible guru apna lekha hoche. Ete dekha hoche je our dear je choto choto je. बातचीत वाला चाहिए रहा। आमादर भाषा सीखते पड़ते हैं एवं आमादर भाषा दे बाइबल बोलो से पाठ पढ़ते पड़ते हैं। Faith comes by hearing has become so single-minded focused. Everything that we do, every decision we make, every dollar that we spend, this is further the mission of 2033. Other ministries are joining in the advancing of audio because they understand. It's such a great message to say the whole world is taking part. We can see that God has prepared us for, for this time, for a time such as this. It's like the Holy Spirit is awakening everyone in, in their hearts and in their minds to be like, this is it. There's an end game, there's a goal, and we can all strive together. कोकनो विश्वास करें ना जे ऐ भावे ईश्वर तार राज्य जनों आमादे जातीर भाषा के दावर कर दे It's an incredible time to be alive इस तरी भावे है के जाते हैं बंग एक तब मानुष देवार कोत्ते पार दे बांग्रा देखाई ते पार वो आमर भाषाई 
আসলে আমাদের ঈশ্বর গণ আছে মানে এটা আমার থাকলে ভালো স্থায়ীভাবে তাহলে আমার ভাষাটা স্থায়ীভাবে থাকে না It is our command from Christ. It is the reason that we are here is to kingdom build. The only way we can go and make disciples is if we give them the word in a format and language that they understand.